So, here's a confession. We're going to do a confession, Chuckalus. Chuckalus has some behavioural issues, don't you? He's a terrier, and when he was little, we didn't really stop him nipping at ankles and things and trouser legs. And hello, yes, you don't have these issues. And now he's grown up, and if you walk too closely to him at certain times after eating or when he's resting and he's fast asleep, he can sometimes jump up and bite you. Not a proper bite, just a sort of a warning nip on your trousers. He will always go for clothing, he will never go for skin. And he will only do it to us and not visitors or strangers. So, because our house is very small, hello baby boy, hello. We've started a new game, haven't we? It's called Musical Statues, isn't it? So the idea is, God knows what Ollie is doing. The idea is, Chuckalus, pay attention, thank you. We walk around the house, don't we, after your meal times, which is your trigger zone. And we walk around holding some chicken in our hand and we try and walk as close past you, which in normal times, you would bite us. Well, not me, mostly John. And just get you to follow. So we're gonna walk through our very grubby house, which is what happens when you have two dogs and no cleaner. And try and really walk past your personal space. Get you to stop when I stop. So we walk around, la la la. It's Olia's bedroom, stinky blanket, Olia. Hello, Olia. Come on. And we walk around, towel, because it's been raining. And get right up in his personal space. Stop. Well, Olia's got it. She's sat down. Right, you. Hmm? I would never be able to do this so close after dinner if I didn't have a treat in my hand. He's not particularly happy, he's got his tail down, but it's progress. Good boy. So we're going to be doing this after every meal and then randomly throughout the day to see if his behaviour improves. What do you think of that? <laughs>